to all the hungry people out there and this is your girl Zeen and today's segment is going to be about June favorites so it's going to be divided into two sections one is food and beauty so that every one of you like it and we will head to the first section that is food okay so my first favorite of the last month is something that is a little diet conscious this is a versus 100% organic corn flakes if you can see it well yes okay so uh, why i'm loving this is that uh, i used to have kellogs but you know that it has got so much of sugar and so much of filtration the best part about this it says is gmo gmo means it is genetically unmodified seeds means the seeds have never been modified it's just the natural one and also they do not use any fertilizers and pesticides chemical based for growing these crops also sunlight is used for growing these crops so it's like totally natural also they do not have any artificial dyes they do not have any added sugar no soy no egg and it's whole grain low fat so this is something i'm digging in because i have a pcod problem and i gain weight excessively at any time of the year and i just lose it at any time of the year so i have to keep a track of what i'm putting into my body and this is something i like liked a lot because this is filling and it's something that we all would want you know chemical free and naturally grown so this is something that i have loved and i hope that if you find it somewhere uh you can try this too or you can try any brand but if you see it's gluten free organic just try to find such products for you so that your health is not you know at stake the second one is again these breakfast bars from uh kellogs now and this is uh, something that i am not uh, eating that much but this i'm giving to my baby because it has whole wheat oat and uh, whole barley and wheat flour and everything which is good for her and it has got some fruit uh, pulp inside it so it comes in individual packets like this so you know you can carry it anywhere and it there's no spillage and easy to carry so this i keep in my purse for her sometimes when she just wants to snack and we're outside next one are uh, some chocolates this is from lent and this is the mint one yes this is the mint one and uh, this has sugar this has uh, this 100 gram of bar has 49 grams of sugar but uh, i just it's a dark chocolate and i just you know take one not every day but sometimes because i love chocolate so this is one i don't know whether this has been introduced in india but this is a dairy milk uh, yeah dairy milk uh, marvelous creations jelly popping candy so this basically has dairy milk the normal milk uh, chocolate you get with some um, gems kind of uh, m&ms and gems kind of uh, things inside it also some gummies inside it which are um, fla- cran- cranberry flavored and also it has those popping things which you pop into your mouth and then it starts like you know festival start in your mouth like all the crackers and all bursting inside so this is this is very sweet uh, but i love the action going into my mouth that is why i like it next is this is a, a new brand that i have just discovered yes this is uh, the bell art uh, no sugar added belgian chocolate and it is dark chocolate they have sweeteners from a plant which is called as stevia and uh, this is very yummy they have got a lot of flavors and a lot of stuff like praline and nuts and oh this is what you call it hazelnut but uh, i like dark chocolate the plain dark chocolate so i've got this bell art uh, you can try to find this too and last but not but not the least i have these banana red banana chips from okay the this is shedas i guess this is called shedas cheddars cheddars or cheddars because it's an indian brand so i don't know what exactly it's pronounced as okay so basically i love banana chips i was that girl in college who used to actually wear a abaya like a burqa and when i had lectures off between lectures i used to run down for like 5 minutes and i used to grab those banana red banana chips and we used to put it in the <laughs> abayas and run towards the classroom because we didn't want our teachers to know that we're going for that reason and throughout the lecture we used to like it was be below the bench and if you all know we do that we used to pull it out and pop it into our mouths when the teacher is actually facing the blackboard yeah so <laughs> one funny incident i would like to share with you about these kind of banana chips is that one day it was a strict teacher and i kind of escaped from the class to get some banana chips and as i was rushing towards 
the staircase and the teacher was just following me uh, I lost the chips from my abaya and they all literally fell down and someone near his leg too and he actually saw what I was trying to do <laughs> so that was embarrassment because people got to know that I hide things inside my burqa that is one incident but why I am loving this is because I have been in Dubai for the past four years and four and a half or five I guess and there has been not a single time that I have been able to find red banana chips right here because this is Indians love this you know I am from Pune and I don't know I have a crazy 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 attraction towards these kind of banana chips they're spicy they're yum they're so crisp so this is something I love and I couldn't find it at all there were times when I actually got it from India when I was coming back so I just went to the supermarket that is below my house and for the first time ever I found these I actually grabbed four or five packs of this big thing and I already finished one of them this is the second pack and I am loving this I miss India so much and if I get anything from India which I really love I go crazy and nuts for it so this was all for the yellow white yellow white <laughs> okay so I have this natural light which is actually it, the sun is right on my face and that's why I'm looking so sunny you know but <clears throat> I think you'll have to bear the yellow face for now because I cannot be long like this or should I do something god okay so now the sun seems to have gone away and I look normal again so now we're doing the beauty section and I think June I have not bought those many products it's just like some so I would review them for you okay the first one is cheesy <laughs> this is um this is a thing called lady speed stick fresh and a sense 48 hours it's an antiperspirant stick roll on stick okay <laughs> this claims to stay for 48 hours but see we take a shower between that so we don't expect it to stay for 48 hours but yes it stays on for a pretty good 12 to 15 hours because I feel fresh all day as the advertisements say so this is something I'm loving if you find this around your any department store just find it and grab it it's really nice it has a lavender kind of uh, fragrance second one is this uh, charcoal nose strips from cool and cool yes so this is I have blackheads like crazy blackheads on my nose so these strips I don't use much because I have heard they are not that good because they're pulling up the stuff so I use it like once in 15 days that's like twice a month but they actually you know when you pull that up a lot of gross stuff comes out and you really understand what is actually growing on your face there so this is something I'm loving again you get those no normal white strips it acts the same just that it is black and if you have a lo lot of white heads they'll be seen better nothing else okay so next is this palette by uh, NYX it's a natural palette and this has got these shades which I have been using a lot actually I've just been using this brown these are okay I sometimes use they have got some shimmer some matte so sometimes I use it for like highlighting and stuff but the brown gets used the most so this is a natural palette by NYX and if you want a natural and uh, reasonable palette I think this is the one next I have is uh, the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour uh, foundation I really don't know how to do this light thing you know someone suggested me to put a hand behind the product and I'm trying to do that hi to that person okay so this stays stay, stay fresh foundation fights makeup meltdown I don't know much about the meltdown I'm in the shade where is my shade 220 stable sand but I think this is a little darker for my skin because I like if you see my hands and if you see my face that looks, this looks a little darker and my neck and my hands are the same color so I want a lighter shade but this works well too this I must say stays for quite a bit of time I use it for mostly for uh, when I have to go out for a long time like five to six hours attending some place attending some people so this is what I use it doesn't give a natural finish but sure it gives a really really good coverage if like you put two layers you're done you know you can just rock it on for the entire day so this is something I have loved this is a beauty blender okay this is not from the beauty blender beauty blender because that one uh, I think it comes for around 80 to 100 dirhams over here and I had that I was using that I took two or three of those previously I started with that but then I went to the Times Square mall if you remember from my vlog and there I had found this blender from the company uh, 
I don't have the packaging of that. I'll try to mention in the description box below. And this is as good as a beauty blender. I have used many blenders and you know the cheaper ones, the expensive one and the beauty blender. So I've used like everything in between both of them too. And this is something I have been loving. This you get for 50 dirhams. It's not like too lesser than 80 or 90. But if I can still save 20 to 30, I'm happy for that. So this is something, see it's squishy. It's the same as a beauty blender. There's no difference and you can just clean it and work with it. The quality is the same. So this rocks, okay? Next is this uh, this little uh, cleanser or a makeup remover from Max On. This is a sample that I had received from my glam box. And this is like the best cleanser I have ever seen. I have ever seen, not in the market, but I have ever seen. I've used Nivea, I have used oils to remove my makeup. But this is a combination of both, a cleanser plus oil. It's like, it's, it has an oil base and this works very gently on your face to remove everything. And it's really hydrating too. Next is this uh, lip color, the matte lip from NYX. And I will show you a swatch. Wait, let me see. Yeah, this will be better. So this shade is like, it's a matte lip and the shade goes this way. Yes, it's lovely shade. I love it. I can rock it easily. But this this particular shade in the matte lipstick, it kind of tends to dry up later. So I moisturize my lip beforehand and then put the matte lipstick because I don't want that chappy lip effect. This is the last thing. I Again, this is a sample. This is from Jane Idale. If I am pronouncing it right, it's written right here. It's metallic. That's why you won't be able to see. This is called Just Kissed Lip and Cheek Stain. So this, if I'll show you the opening. This is like a skin color thing, but this is not a color. This is just a stick. But what it will do is, whatever your lip color is, whenever you apply this, it will just enhance it a bit. Whatever your lip color is, okay? It's not like a proper peach for everyone, no. This will actually enhance your natural lip color. And this is something looks so natural just enhances your lip color a bit so it just looks like you have a hint of very tiny hint of color on your lips and i am loving this so this was all for the june favorites 2016 and i hope you liked everything and uh, if you could buy anything so just go ahead with whatever i've shown you and that's all for today take care please like and subscribe comment below if you want to see anything and if you have any suggestions or requests from me so just comment below and take care and please get me some more subscribers bye bye i love this